In this video, we're going to focus on how we can create a horizontal gradual color on our background of the chart area where we have one here, we have multiple colors, one with an instant transition and there's another one with a gradual transition. So let's start to look how we can create our horizontal gradient background color in Chart.js. First of all, make sure you have the boiler template. To get this boiler template, just go to chartjs3.com, getting started this specific link, which you can find as well in the description box. Once you're on here, copy this chunk of code. Next, if you want to support my channel and get the source code of this video or many others, check out my Patreon page here where you can support my channel. All right, what we're going to do is, first of all, we want to create a background color that covers the full chart area. To do this, I'm going to create a custom plugin. So in here, you have here the options, I'm going to say comma, and then what I'm going to say here, plugins, I'll put it in the bracket because we could have more than one plugin. And I'll say this will be our gradient background color or something like that. Let's copy this. And then what I'm going to say here, constant gradient background color equals ID. And I'm going to give it this the same name. And then in here, just to make it more clear, we're going to say our gradient background color plugin block. So once we have this here, we can start to draw. What I want to do is, first of all, I want to make sure we draw a background color here at the full chart area. To do this, we can select when exactly would we like to draw it. Would you like to draw it on top of these grid lines or behind the grid lines, behind the data sets, or even in front of it? Of course, in our case, it would make sense to be just behind the entire data set and grid lines. So you can see the grid lines and the data set. So I'm going to say here, before we draw anything, we will draw this specific item. So now what I want to say here, chart, arcs, and plugins. Then what I'm going to do in here is do an object destruction. If you don't understand an object destruction, I'm going to recommend you to check out my video in the description box, uh, object destruction for chart.js. So what I'm going to say here, constant equals, then chart, and then in here, I'm going to get the CTX because I want to draw on the canvas. And next I want to have the chart area coordinates, which is the top, bottom, uh, I guess the left, right, width and height. We won't be using them all, but having them here now is just useful. So what I'm going to do here, first of all, is to draw a gray background color here or something very light color. So I'm going to say here, CTX to draw on the canvas dot save to say this is the starting point and then we're going to say CTX dot fill style to give it a background color and just to make it simple I'll just grab one of those colors that we have here uh, just for the sake of it I'll just take this uh, this color here maybe I think that'll be fine put that in there and then what I will do is make it a bit more lighter so it will slightly be different compared to this color here so then what I will say is CTX that fill rectangle and this fill rectangle will give us the coordinates of our item or basically the rectangle. So we say here the zero or basically the first value will be X coordinate, second one will be the Y coordinate, the next will be the width and finally the height. So since we have them all in here, we can easily coordinate or grab those. The X is the left coordinate because we want to start at the very left line here of the chart area that's this line here then we have here the top which is the top and then we want to say how many pixels in width which will be the width of the chart area and finally how many pixels in height which is the height so if I save this refresh you can see here now we have this nice grayish background that doesn't overlap on our grid lines so that's good so we can see everything now what I want to do is I want to make a gradient I want to start for example here gray going here red, blue, or any other color. So let's start to look at that. How can we do this? Well, what we're going to do now is we're going to create here the following. I'm going to say enter, and I'm going to say CTX, or not even CTX, I'm going to create a constant. This constant, I will give it the name gradient background. And then I'll say equal, and this will be the CTX dot create a linear gradient color. And then what we're going to do here is we have to put in the coordinates. We have here the X, which is the starting on the left side. Uh, the Y would be the starting from the top 
to bottom we, we select that and then we have the width and then we have eventually and then finally after the width we have the height so what I really want to do because I want to make it a linear gradient color from left to right so a horizontal gradient color I'm going to make sure that we are going to pinpoint the X and the width this is the only one we need the others are not necessary so if you're wondering what is the starting point of this one then here is just exactly the same as the left let's put it in here and then we have here what is the ending point would be the width and then do we want to go up or down making it diagonal in this case no so I'm going to, going to put it like that so once we did this we're not really done because it will not give any color yet we need to now define the color and once we have this here, this will become very important for the next part. So what I'm going to say here, the gradient, and then we're going to say a dot at color stop. And this here will define where do we start with a color and where will, we, will that color stop? Or more specifically, what is the starting point of the color? So we have here two values. The first value will be a zero, and the second value would be the color. So for now, I'll just get the color blue. And what does this zero mean? The zero means starting at zero percent, meaning the starting point at whatever we specified here. So if we do this, and we want to, for example, from blue, we go to this grayish color, we will, that will have a gradual effect. We can get another one, but then we have to specify where we want to end this. So for example, if I do one, and remember the zero means zero percent, and which is the starting point of this, one, equals 100% which is the ending point of whatever the width is so this here I'm going to grab this color put it in here there we have that and now we have our color gradient I'm going to copy this and replace our fill color with the gradient filler save this refresh and now as you can see here it gradually changes so let me show you one more trick that we can do here maybe you want more colors you want or instant uh, transition of colors let's do that as well so for example we have this here let's say I want another color halfway through so at 50% which is 0.5 we can say I want a red color I'm going to save that refresh and now you can see it will gradually go from blue to red to gray if we want to say well I want to have an instant transition in that case what I can do is I'm going to copy this blue put it in here and I will say blue will end basically at 0 0.5 and from that moment on it will become immediately red and there's no gradual transition it will be an instant transition so let's refresh and as you can see here now it will get 50 percent of the chart area and it will work nicely and jumps immediately to red and that's basically how we can play around with multiple colors and giving them instant transition or a gradual transition if necessary